Hello folks and welcome to another Let's Play. Now, um, unfortunately um, I lost my original commentary for this as I accidentally, well I didn't lose it, I didn't record it in the first place. Um, so yeah. And well anyway by now you probably guessed that, well I'm playing Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Now this is uh, well, I played this game, well, the original version of this game, back in 1990, 1991. Um, back when I was a young child. I, I love the game, I still do love the original game. And from what I've seen, this looks like it could be a very good remake. And it's not quite like the um, remake uh, of DuckTales, but anyway. Once upon a time, two devoted sweethearts set out on a summer afternoon to enjoy the sunshine, the warm breeze, and the pleasure of each other's company. Mickey and Minnie were so happy that they were certain everyone must feel the same. <laughs> but alas, joy is not found in all hearts. Where there should be love and kindness, there is jealousy and anger. The witch, Miserable, had such a heart, one filled with darkness Envy. Oh dear! Aw, it's okay, Minnie. I bet the sun will be back in a jiffy. Mickey's wish was not to be. The day turned to night, and the skies thundered with ill will and fury. Yikes! In the brief moment that Mickey closed his eyes against the bright flash of lightning, his happiness was shattered. <gasps> Minnie! The evil witch Miserable had kidnapped Minnie. The old crone had always been jealous of the mouse's beauty. Now, she would rob her of it. <laughs> Poor Mickey. You never appreciate what you have until it's gone. Isn't that right? No, no! And get her back! <laughs> As Miserable took to the skies with his beloved Minnie, Mickey knew he had to act fast. <laughs> Running with all his might, he chased the witch through the forest. <laughs> Mickey scampered and scurried all the way to... The Castle of Illusion. So there we have it. The Castle of Illusion. Now, first of all, um, I just want to uh, check over some of my settings as I... Uh, well, I had a lot of trouble getting this game to work at a uh, good speed. Um, a good speed being 30 frames per second, that is. It had a lot of stuttering and whatnot, and I had a look online. And it looks like um, the best way to play this game is not in full screen. So, as you can see here, I've got full screen turned off. And, uh, well, it was like change. Well, I'm swapping between to a new video file as DX Tory made a new video file. But I wanted to turn on the best graphical settings that I could, so that's what I did there. Anyway, we'll be going on to a new game in, uh, well, just a few seconds. Um, yes, I will over it to existing save Ominous game data. and terrifying, the castle stood out against the skyline like a shadow from a horrible nightmare. Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? Luckily... Fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. Caution, lad, for Miserable's plans are truly wicked. Using a magic spell, she intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. Your sweetheart will be left as hideous as the witch is now, and her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? What do I do? You must find the seven rainbow gems that will create the fabled Rainbow Bridge. It will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware the gem keepers. They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Gems? Gem keepers? Got it! Wait, where do I find them? within Miserable's Castle of Illusion. But beware, young mouse. 
The witch has created strange worlds and bizarre creatures to prevent you from reaching her. Each gem is guarded by one of Miserabelle's masters of illusion. Defeat them to claim your prize. And remember, use great caution. Mickey did not take the old mouse's words lightly. He thanked him and rushed to the castle gates. And so we have our story, which is the same as the original. And, um, oops, I'll shut the up from castle that. of illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. And nothing is as it seems. Now, one thing about this game that uh, I have to give it full credit for is that the controls are absolutely fantastic. They feel absolutely smooth. And, well, right now I'm enjoying... Well, I was enjoying uh, just playing around with the controls and the smoothness of it all. It felt exactly as I wanted it to be, um, which is fantastic. Um, Mickey controlled the exact way I expected it to be when I met when I failed. It was exactly Into the as castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. Ah, oh, Mickey. So yeah, in the original, um, I believe there are only five levels, but they had a bit of uh, inconsistency in uh, their level design, as in you'd start off in one area and you'd be quite different by the end of the entire level. Um, I could just be thinking of the easy mode, mind you, um, now that I'm thinking about it, but anyway, as we move into here, we move into... Uh, what's behind the first door, which is indeed the Enchanted Forest, Act 1. Now this is just a... Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. But it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. And walking into here was just a huge nostalgia fest. The music and the enemies, it's just everything. It's... Well, the nostalgia fest, the mu it's just fantastic for me. Um, bringing things right back to my childhood, but enough about my childhood. And um, we're talking about this game now, a 2013 version of Castle Vision. Although, actually, I think I might to go back and play the original for the channel if I ever get around to finishing this one, which, well, no, my track record is not fantastic. Right in the back there, we can see what will be our first boss, which I actually didn't know from the original game. He seems scared that we're coming for him. Which is great. We want our enemies to be scared of us. Us being Mickey Mouse, of course. Anyway, over here we come across the apples and our first use of them. Um, and, yep, there you can throw them as a weapon. Same as the original. And, yep, you can use them to uh, throw at chests as well. Now, if you may have noticed, there are some things over on the left here, which uh, I'm jumping over to grab first before heading on. Now I had actually played this part before as um, as I mentioned briefly before there was uh, a lot of problems getting this game to run smoothly uh, and in the end I've ended up playing this game in a window and just because it seems to well, run at a full 30 frames per second even when recording whereas before it was going to, down into like well, 20 frames per second when recording and occasional stuttering which is annoying. The signpost was created by Miserable, so of course it had a mischievous streak. So yeah, this section basically um, you just have to keep going in the. Make up its mind. <laughs> yep, um, just keep going in the directions that, well, any of the directions that the arrow pointed. Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? And here again, the music. Oh, just. Well, sorry for uh, my n nostalgia session, but this is, well, it's huge for me. The fact that they revisited this game is impressive. Although I did hear that apparently the studio is closing down, which is a shame, because it seems like they've done a really good job on this game. 
And I mentioned the uh, DuckTales game, which has been remastered recently, which seems like uh, Disney is having a go at, uh, well, remaking all of the games from the past. Um, which, I haven't got it, but from what I've seen of it, it looks, um, well, it looks fantastic as well. It's not like uh, this level of a remake, um, as in full 3 it is uh, a 2D game. But uh, it is 2D. Well, this is mostly a 2D game as well, but uh, I'm in 2D gameplay. But that is 2D graphics. And it looks. Uh, well, it looks good as well. They added story to it. And yeah, it looks like a great game. So it looks like both of these games that have come out recently are good. And I had quite a lot of trouble getting that gem for some reason. Anyway, we get across these green leaves, which. Uh, well, they fall down as soon as we. Uh, uh, as soon as we stand on them, which is standard platforming, fair. We need to be talking about the game more as it is right now, so... You see myself enjoying jumping up and around. It's... Well, as I mentioned, the controls just feel... Well... I wouldn't say perfect, but they feel really, really good. And, oh look, we've got ourselves an extra life down there. So uh, let's see if we can grab it. That is, if I actually start moving onto the leaves. Oh, uh, let's grab the gems to the right first. And no, oh, we failed. Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. Oh, I'm not having any of that. I'm going back for another try. So, um. What else can I talk about while uh, I'm redoing this? I think I was pretty silent when uh, I was recording this originally. Yeah, there's one thing that uh, gets me, um, which you see it more in this 3D one than back in the 2D original, is Mickey Mouse's ears. They just don't look right to me. Um, I'm not sure if it's... I think it's in this part of the playthrough that I start looking left and right just trying to show it off, but uh, you can see it's like one ear is directly... well, directly behind each other, like they're just in a row rather than one side of his head. Which uh, is just really weird. I mean, when Mickey's looking at the screen it looks perfectly fine and... oh, I failed once again. <sighs> Well, no, I am continu- I'm gonna do another try. And yep, the door disappeared once again, so going through for a third time. This is my last time, thankfully. Probably should have edited uh, the second time out, but uh, never mind. This video is a bit on the uh, shorter side, as it seems. I wasn't using my timer for this video, I was just using my watch and I thought I timed up to 20 minutes, but apparently it's around uh, 17 minutes long. And that's another, well, difference with this game from the original is uh, the difference in the animations of... Uh... Ah, here we go. So we're talking about uh, Mickey and the ears. So when you're moving left and right, it really looks like the ears are one behind the other. But uh, when Mickey's looking at the screen, and they're from on the side of his head. Just a bit of visual, well, probably optical illusion. I somehow doubt they're changing the, the uh, physical 3D model. Wait, well, yeah, that's not a physical 3D model? It's not physical at all. But the actual 3D model to have Mickey's ears look, well, weird. But uh, another difference to the animation is what happens when you jump on enemies. Now in the original you had to press the uh, jump button as you were coming down to do um, Mickey's uh, form of attack which really looked more like rather than jumping on enemies he was um, sitting on them shall we say. Um, I'll just have to try and have a look at the top there to see if there's anything else which uh, it's weird, the camera moves up as if there is something there, but uh, there isn't. Um, I'm, I know there isn't. And just another point to look out for, I came back later, and uh, there are a couple of gems to the bottom right of the uh, signpost area. 
Uh, sorry for causing a lot of noise with that, but uh, I had something to say. So, anyway, um, we've got a few more gems to collect here before we come to the final segment of this act. I'm um, well, kind of surprised it took this long to get to the end of the first act, but, uh, well, it's a good game, so I'm just enjoying myself getting, just going through everything. I realised for a moment that I need to jump on the mushroom to get up there, then I realised that I didn't actually need to, so uh, there we go. We've got ourselves uh, a star here, and some gems. And off we go here through this door, and onto the giant apple, which uh, is just taken straight from the original. Obviously, this section wasn't... Uh, this is a bit more like the Lion King on the Mega Drive, actually. Um, but yeah, it's a standard... Well, standard fair, Crash Bandicoot, Lion King, whatever. Run away from something chasing you behind. Grab all the gems, which I actually missed. I think I missed two along here. Oh, that's the second one, I think. I think the first one was the very first gem, which was a bit bad of me. I came back and get it. So I came back and got it after um, recording. Anyway, and that's it for this act. So we hear the great victorious music. For that, that's just that just sends a shiver down my spine every time. It's just like a <sighs> yes, I've beaten the level. But um, that's it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you join me again for the next one. Well, thanks for watching, and see you again next time. Goodbye.